Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, oh my god, I can't talk and get ready at the same time. This is gonna be hard. Hello everyone, welcome back to Serendipia. My name is Vini Diana for those of you who are new here. Um, I usually make videos on lifestyle based on my experiences that I've gone through throughout my high school, college, and currently my adult life. So if you're interested in this kind of videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button. So today is very different from what people normally see me do and that's because I'm doing a get ready with me vlog for the day kind of video. I thought it'd be really fun to take you all today because I have a very fun day plan so y'all are gonna see me actually get ready and look nice and stuff so that's kind of new for you all i'm actually gonna wear makeup today which i haven't worn in a while and i'm curling my hair which i haven't done in a year like i never put heat in my hair just for special occasions but for today i'm gonna do it because like i said it hasn't been very fun planned i'm going to san francisco to meet up with a friend because today we have a Van Gogh exhibit we're going to, and that's really fun. So yeah, I thought I would just take you all along with me. So stay tuned. Right now, I'm just curling my hair, and I haven't done it in so long, and I have so much hair, and it's so long. And I'll get back to you all once my hair is curled, so we can go through my makeup process, even though I don't have that much makeup, and I don't wear that much makeup, so yeah. Okay, so this is how my hair looks. Like I said, kind of wavy, not really that curly. It was much curlier earlier, but I brushed it out a little because I just wanted more like loose beach waves. And usually my hair gets a little bit like this when I get out the shower, but sometimes I can't control how frizzy it gets. So curling it was the best option. Um, I'm just gonna put some oils onto it. So see, now it has some shine less frizz and it looks natural and bouncy which is what I was going for. I also sound a little bit more quiet because I'm in the bathroom and it echoes so much in here. So next, I'll wash my face really quick actually. I should have done this first. Wash my face but hold up. Normally I let my moisturizer are kind of like completely dry but I am in a hurry because I gotta drop off my boyfriend before going to San Francisco and my friend and I are gonna go get lunch and it's already 12 so my makeup bag this is literally all the makeup I own um, I do own makeup believe it or not I just don't wear it um, I do own foundation I think yeah I do own foundation but I don't want to wear it how do I do this I don't even remember how to do makeup wow I should brush my teeth before I start all of this. So unprepared. So, so unprepared. I think I'm just nervous that I'm getting ready in front of a camera today. Disclaimer, I'm not a beauty guru, as you all know. I don't do makeup on the daily. Um, so I'm sorry if I do things that seem weird, but it's just little tips and tricks that I learned. I don't think I'm gonna wear foundation today. I don't really have any blemishes on my skin. Like obviously I'll have like texture and stuff, that's normal. But I don't really have like much to cover up and like my ojeras, my bags are probably the only thing. And something I learned was to put a little bit of red underneath. And I'm just using this lipstick actually. <laughs> And that helps a little bit and so next I am gonna use concealer mostly just to like prime my eyes also and not a lot like a thought I'm very minimal with my makeup I used to love doing makeup like I used to wear makeup every single day uh, when I was like 18 19 and then one day I didn't wear makeup and people thought I was sick and I'm just like, well, no, this is what my face actually looks like. So I decided I'm gonna go bare face and be comfortable with my bare face and only use makeup when like I'm going out or on special occasions or stuff like that. And now I'm really just used to like my face and how I look and I like it, you know? So I brighten up my eyes a little. I don't know if y'all can see, this is terrible lighting by the way. Like really bad lighting. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
So I'm just gonna do my eyeshadow really quick. And I'm doing very like basic, what's it called? Drugstore makeup. So this is like L'Oreal Paris. And I used to use this for my Flor Corico um, performances because we all had to have the same makeup. And I love how pigmented it is. A very soft look. That's normally what I go for now when I use makeup. It's a very soft natural vibe and i do want to get new makeup because my makeup is kind of old and i know makeup expires but also having to like replace my makeup every year or every six months or every three months some expire really fast for someone who doesn't really wear makeup doesn't seem reasonable to me but i know my face might hate me for putting old makeup on Eyeliner. I don't say quiet for this part because oh, this, this is a struggle. I was trying to go for a subtle wing and now it's big. Let me tell you, I used to be amazing at doing eyeliner because I love doing like different eyeliner and now I just can't for my life. Like literally someone can be like, if you want to live, you need to do the perfect wing eyeliner. Apparently, I'm just not gonna live. I'm not gonna make it. <sighs> mascara. I hate using mascara. Mascara's like, oh, shit. You just clean the bathroom too. Mascara's like, it's just so annoying to put on. And I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. Push them out. I actually plucked my eyebrows and I'm very excited to have plucked eyebrows <laughs> that's kind of dumb but it's just something i never like take time for myself to do so that was pretty nice and i also did my nails um i'm gonna fix those i just need to wait for that see i'm telling you all over the place with this okay y'all can tell me that my eyebrows look bad but honestly like i don't I just follow the shape of my brow. I don't even try to like pretend with them. And this is the shape of my brow. So if my brows look bad, then blame my family, I guess. Genetics. Actually, no. I can't blame them. If they look bad, it's because I don't know how to do them, if I'm being honest. I always struggle with brows, but I think. That's fine. They look very in your face. Okay. I mean, I look like an angry bird, <laughs> but that's fine. Eyebrows done. I feel like I could have gone a little bit more natural with the eyebrows if I'm being honest. Oh, that's gonna bother me. Eyebrows and eyes done, so my favorite part. Wait, I need more chastic. What time is it? <gasps> I gotta go. I just still gotta put on clothes and pack my bag. So I think I'm not gonna put on lip gloss or anything like that. I'm gonna keep it pretty natural on my lips because COVID and I need to wear a mask and whatnot. So there's no point. Do I wanna contour? No, I don't feel like contouring today. I think we're just gonna keep it natural like that and just put on a little bit of blush. If I can find my blush, we're gonna go. And then I just like that very sun-kissed look. I think it's super cute. I've always liked it. You look so innocent, so useful. So we're doing that today. And we do not hold back with the blush. Okay, I have this e.l.f. Highlighter and it has been my favorite highlighter ever because it's so 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 cheap and it is Beautiful. Do you see that? Like, I don't know if you can see it. Terrible lighting. I'm so sorry about the lighting I like this really quick. My curler like oh, It's so old. It's so so old. So I don't even know if it's gonna curl my eyelashes. I have to hold it for longer. I but I forgot to add highlighter in my bottom, what is it called, the waterline? I saw this cute like 
Korean style that they do it and then I thought it was gorgeous and I know it's not everyone but it's not everyone's style but I like it I think that's cute so yeah this is what it looks finished product um try to keep it natural let me see if I can show you better a little better like so very pinkish okay so I got a pack and I'm gonna change and then I'm gonna head out okay so this is my outfit um I have my dogs some leggings I thrifted and then this shirt I got from Maurizia and the only thing about this is that it's a really low cut and flowy and I'm going to San Francisco so I'm a little bit nervous I took a backup shirt just in case it's way too windy that like this can open up so I'm gonna go drive drop off my boyfriend then head to San Francisco to meet with my friend okay so I made it to San Francisco I am here um we're going to go ahead and put on my shoes because i took them off because it was kind of hard driving and there's someone staring at me and then go meet my friend and i think we're gonna go do lunch and then a photo shoot or something like that so let's see if my friend wants to show you her face if she doesn't no pressure but i will see you all in a bit this is ale i met Hello. her when i was in college <laughs> We are in San Francisco. She's the one who's been living in San Francisco, so she knows where we're going. Gentrification is barely getting to there, which is sad because there's a lot of culture and that's so in that store and that street. <laughs> but now we're going to the actual like gentrified part of the Yeah. Of I saw her get it. It looks painful. <laughs> it painful. <laughs> we will be riding bikes back. This one's pretty cool. It's 
fine. Next part, pause. like a lot of like van gogh which makes sense they want you to buy stuff yeah it was really cool definitely oh, <laughs> i don't even think i'm pointing 10 out of 10 recommend wait i want to look at this oh this is so cool the chandeliers building is absolutely gorgeous i love like the architecture and like detailing like look at that detail the gate <laughs>
feels like I'm dancing on moonlight Of all the stars at night None of them can shine as bright as you do They can't compare to your life 